Hey guys, Robert Martin here. Uh, today we want to look at uh, Trimble Business Center and uh, regions in Trimble Business Center. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some scan data. Uh, me and a friend of mine went and scanned a project in Mississippi and we scanned the inside and the outside of this building. So I've got the data set. I'm going to show you how to go in and extract the data that you need to give to um, a designer of some sort. So in his case, what he's going to do, he's going to be working with an architect and he's going to go and scan some of these buildings for him so the architect can actually get measurements because it's impossible for an architect to get really good measurements on the inside of the building. So what we're going to look at is how to extract data out of a point cloud to what we need. Now, keep in mind, this could be extracting data out for anything. This could be extracting data out for a curb, for a um, a sign, a box culvert, a bridge, a, whatever you need, any kind of structure that you need measurements on and would be difficult to get a date measure on, this is the perfect scenario. I think that this is a great way to do altar surveys and things of that nature so that um, you pick up all the data that you need. So anyways, let's jump into the computer here and let's take a look at uh, this data set and how to extract some regions. Okay. What I've got here is I've already brought in the point cloud data from this project. You can see this is our building. So if I go into point clouds and I can go into 3D view up here at the top and I zoom down and I look, you can see as I tilt this thing, we've got a lot of data here. That SX10 just picks up an enormous amount of data when it's scanning. So uh, as far as range goes, the range on this thing is nuts. So what we want, the only thing I'm interested in, I care less about all this other stuff. For what we're doing right now, um, I just want the building. Now, if you wanted power lines and things of that nature, as you can see, we got all that as well. Uh, a lot of curb. I mean, our tent was a building, but you can see all the data, the parking spaces, and everything else we got. So let's, let's get in here. I want to go in and I want to do a top view. So what you want to make sure is that polygonal select up here at the top is uh, turned on and what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to do a left mouse click and drag for our first line so i'm dragging i let off now from here on out i just all i have to do is click the left mouse and it's going to start drawing my line so i'm just going to start clicking around the outside of this structure so you can see what's going on when you get to the end when you want to close this off you double click and that closes it off now you can see my selection I've got. So let's do create region and we're going to call this main building. Main building. Okay, so we've created. And as you can see, it's jumped me into color coded intensity for that. If I go to true color, you can see color coded intensity which is where I like to work. There's that right there. So now then, let's just zoom over here to regions, which is gonna be down here at the bottom. And I go in, I turn default off. All I've got left is my main building, okay? So now what I wanna do, I wanna take this a little bit further. So I'm gonna go back to another top view. And I'm gonna go in here and I wanna do the inside of this wall I want to look at the inside of this structure. Now, at any time during this, you could do classify regions and you could have the software automatically classify the regions um, in here. They've got some defaults, uh, building power lines, things of that nature um, that it will classify. For what I'm doing right now, it's really not that important because I'm going to do everything myself. So, here I've got, as you can see, this is all selected in here. So now if I go to create regions and I say uh, inside building and I say OK. So I come back over here. I really need to move that, so I'll have to keep jumping around. But anyways, there that is. So now I have the inside of the building. So now I want to take it a little bit farther. So now I want... I'm going to go do a right view. So I'm looking at the right side. I'm just going to cut through here real quick. I'm going to select that. 
create region. I'm going to call it roof. Okay, so now I have the roof. So now if I go in here and I uncheck the inside buildings, you can see all I have is a roof. So now then, let's say that I want to pull out the, uh, say this rafter right here. I need this rafter. So what I can do is the same thing. I just go and click, drag, come down here, select what I want, create region, Call it rafter. Same thing again. I come over here. I get rid of uh, roof. So all I have left now is this rafter. Now then, I need to get rid of some of this stuff because you can see I've got part of a TV in here, it looks like. So let's go in. Let me get rid of that. Create region, I'm just gonna call it trash because I don't think anybody cares about the measurements on the TV. So now if I go in and I say, turn off the trash, now I don't see the trash. So if there was other things in here that I needed to get rid of, if there was something else, um, so like it looks like there's a pipe or maybe it's probably an electrical conduit with a, a light on it. It's kind of what that looks like. So let's go in here. Create region. So I can put this on all the layers called lights. So we just keep going. If we need to, um, you know, we need to add something to a region. So let's look at, we've got a little bit of trash right here. A little overspray from the scanner. So let's just say add to region. So we look, we have trash. We have all the regions we created. I'm going to say trash. I'm going to say add. There it is. It added it to it. So now it's gone. So as you can see, I can keep going down and down and down. So I can come down this edge and I can take this piece and I can add it to the roof. So you just keep going on and on and on and on. You keep getting down. So I just want to show you guys this because what I'm going to do in the next video, I'm going to do a... Um, a video on Turbo RealWorks Viewer and bring in LAS files. We're gonna take LAS files out of here and we're gonna take those to Turbo RealWorks and then you're going to bring those in. Um, it's gonna kind of look like they're in layers when we bring them in. And that's so that your architect, engineer, designer can actually go in and just pull measurements really easy. They don't need to buy a copy of Business Center. Turbo RealWorks Viewer is free. So anyways, we'll do that in the next video. I'll show it to you here in a minute. Um, as always, always, guys, be careful out there. Don't cut your leg off a machete or chainsaw or trouser blade or anything else. Um, also, and I uh, hope you guys appreciate these videos. See if I can't make you guys some experts. So, anyway, see you in the next video, guys. Thanks. Bye.